Welcome along once again to another Me vs Maths tutorial. This is the second in our series on expanding double brackets. So if you've not done any work yet with double brackets, you'll probably want to check out the previous tutorial first. Here we have an example then that appears very similar to those that we looked at in that previous tutorial. But now we have one add and one subtract sign to handle. That's not going to change the basics of what we do. Firstly, we're still multiplying x by x, which is x squared. Next, we're multiplying positive x by negative 4. A positive times a negative gives a negative answer, and x times 4 is 4x, so minus 4x. Now we'll multiply positive 7 by positive x, so that will give us plus 7x. And finally, we need to times positive 7 by negative 4, and that will result in minus 28. We've successfully expanded our bracket, and now we need to simplify our result, particularly those x's in the middle. Minus 4x plus 7x. If we start 4 below 0 and move up 7, then we'll go into the positives. In fact, we'll get to positive 3. So these parts in the middle can be simplified to give plus 3x, which you can see there in our final answer. Another problem then, and we'll do the expansion part of this one nice and quickly. x times x gives x squared. x times 6, both are positive, so we'll get plus 6x. Next, minus 9 times x will give minus 9x. And finally, negative 9 multiplied by positive 6 gives negative 54. Again, no surprise, we need to simplify the part in the middle plus 6x minus 9x. So this time we're starting 6 above 0 in the positives, but if we subtract 9, we'll get down to minus 3, or minus 3x. So our final simplified answer is x squared minus 3x minus 54. One last example, and we'll do the expansion part here in one go. What's interesting with this particular question is what happens when we come to simplify it. Here we have plus 7x minus 7x. Now you should know that anything subtracted from itself is always 0. So 7x minus 7x is no x, or more simply, nothing. So when I come to write my final answer, we still have the x squared and we'll still have the minus 49, but we don't have those x's in the middle. Our simplified answer, as you can see there, is just x squared minus 49. That's it then for this tutorial, and hopefully you found that what we've just done there isn't really that much different to what we've done previously. You just need to take a little bit of extra care when expanding, and quite a bit more care when you're doing the simplification part at the end. We've covered now all the foundations of expanding double brackets. There is one more tutorial on this topic, but this is at a slightly higher level, so please check with your teacher or tutor if that's appropriate for you. Whether or not you join me for that tutorial or not, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.